B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I want A plus B. Let's talk so much fun. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hey, it's time to start the show. Are you ready? Good guys, here we go. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Hello and welcome back to A Plus English. I'm Seb. Mm, we're Ignis. And we are looking at Holi, that amazing Indian festival that happens. Every spring, so we learnt last uh, last time that mm. Holi is a festival that mm. is celebrated uh, by throwing some coloured powder. Mm. Right? We, we've seen pictures of that online. Yeah. Everybody has seen those beautiful pictures. But here is our think question for today: What do people do to celebrate Holi? So we already know about. The powder, the powder, but we know that that is not everything. That's just one part of Holi. Do you know anything else they do to celebrate uh, Holi in India?、Um, a, a party? Mm-hmm. Well, probably、um, a party. I、right? think、It's、usually for a holiday、mm-hmm. we have special food. Yes. Right, yeah, there are some very special foods.、Mm. Um, I actually was looking at some of them online before we filmed this, and they look really, really tasty. There's、uh, something called a kandai. I hope I'm pronouncing that right,、yeah. which is kind of like a creamy drink that they drink,、mm-hmm. um, especially in the west of India near Mumbai. So, and there's also some special flatbreads that they eat as well,、yeah. and some special sweets as well, which everybody everybody likes to eat sweets. Anyway, we are going to be learning more about how Holi is celebrated around the world. So let's get started with today's article. Holi, the brightest way to celebrate spring. Today, people across Asia, North America, and Europe enjoy this bright tradition. They celebrate it in a number of ways. Many events have live music and dancing. Another way to celebrate is with a Holika bonfire. Each of these fires has a special statue of Holika in it. Hindu people believe that Holika was bad and tried to kill her nephew, a prince. Though she tried to burn him, she died in the fire and he lived. So a Holika bonfire shows. That good wins over evil. Why not experience a new cultural event this spring with Holi in Taipei? Word power. Tradition. Tradition. It is a tradition to wear red clothes on Chinese New Year. It is a tradition to wear red clothes on Chinese New Year. Nephew, nephew. My brother brought his son to my house. I enjoy playing with my nephew. My brother brought his son to my house. I enjoy playing with my nephew. Evil. Evil. In this comic book, the strong man fights evil and he wins. In this comic book, the strong man fights evil and he wins. Experience, experience. Let's go to the new restaurant. So we can experience some different food. Let's go to the new restaurant so we can experience some different food. 认识智慧 Bonfire. Statue. Cultural. Okay, so our article begins. Today, people across Asia, North America, and Europe enjoy this bright tradition. Okay. 文章中里面有说到了，现在呢，亚洲
北美洲以及欧洲的人们都会欢庆这色彩鲜明且快乐的传统。那同学们要注意的是，这句话里面的这个单字 bright 是一个形容词，它有颜色明亮或者是快乐的意思。我个人觉得呢，这个字用得很好，因为我们都知道，在前一篇文章里面提到了，在 Holly 这个节庆，人们会将彩色的粉末丢向空中或者丢向彼此，而 bright 这个字呢，同时带出了色彩鲜明，因为 color powder 嘛，还有大家欢度 Holly 的快乐的粉。Mm-hmm. It's right. It's a very, very clever way、yeah. of using bright.、Yeah. We could say that it is a pun, a play on words, and that's when you use one word with two meanings, two meanings to mean、right. two things at the same time. Very clever. Okay. We also saw the word tradition, which is our first word power of the day. So that's a noun, and it's spelled T R A D I T I O N. Long word, tradition. Let's find out what it means. Okay, a tradition is an event, activity, or way of thinking that people in one culture have been doing for a very long time. Holi is a tradition because people in India have been celebrating it for thousands of years. Similarly, not eating beef is a tradition in India too. Many people there believe that cows are sacred. That means they are important to religion, so they don't eat meat because that comes from cows. As this has been a rule in Indian society for a very long time, we can say that it is a tradition. Now, tradition is one of those other nouns that we can turn into an adjective by adding a l. So we can talk about something being very traditional. For example, traditional clothes. We could say, for example, that in China, especially Shanghai, a qi pao is a type of traditional dress. And we could also talk about traditional ways of thinking. That is, ways that people have been thinking for a very long time, or ways of thinking that you might have gotten from your grandparents and that may have been the same a、uh, hundred years ago. So we can also talk about things which are not traditional too. Obviously, there is an opposite for the word traditional, and that is. Modern. So, modern clothes, for example,、uh, would be、uh, have very recently become popular.、Um, and even we could have said that in the 1920s, when the cheap out was first invented, that was a modern item of clothing. Then, now here's an example sentence、uh, for tradition. It is a tradition to wear red clothes on Chinese New Year. It is a tradition to wear red clothes on Chinese New Year. 没有错。Tradition 这个字呢，就是指传统的意思。像在世界各地， mm-hmm. 每个地方几乎都有自己独特的传统。Mm-hmm. 例如像印度呢，我们刚提到的有过 Holy 节日的传统之外， mm-hmm. 他们也有不吃牛肉的传统哦。Mm-hmm. 那像在台湾呢，我们在过农历新年的时候会有吃年夜饭的传统，过端午节呢会吃粽子的传统。而 Tradition 这个字，同学如果在字尾加上 a l， 就变成一个形容词、mm-hmm. traditional。Traditional 呢是表示传统的，例如传统食物就是 traditional food，、mm-hmm. 跟 traditional 相反的字当然就是现代的 modern。课文例句里面提到了、mm-hmm. 春节时穿红色衣服是一项传统。Mm-hmm. Yes, we all have different traditions. I could also say that in the UK,、mm-hmm. our tra- we have one tradition that is. Uh, taking afternoon tea—that is a very traditional thing、uh-huh. that we do, especially in England. Anyway, we're not talking about England; we are talking about India and Holly. So, how do they celebrate、uh, Holly? Well, the article says they celebrate it in a number of ways. Okay,、mm. so we saw the phrase a number of, didn't we? Yeah. 嗯，文章中里面说到了，他们会用许多的方式来庆祝这节日。Mm-hmm. 那同学这边一定要特别小心留意的是 ，a number、mm-hmm. of 这个片语是指一些或者是许多的意思。Mm-hmm. 后面它必须一定要加可数名词的复数变化，例如 a number of books， 一些书或者是很多书。那容易搞混的片语呢，就是如果将原本的 a 变成定冠词的。The number of 就不是许多的意思了。Mm-hmm. The number of 是指某样人事物的数量。Mm-hmm. 例如 ，the number of the books is eight. 
嗯、书本的数量是八本，这个部分同学一定要小心留意哦。嗯哼 ，Yes, we can use it in many different ways. Anyway, continuing with the article, many events have live music and dancing. Okay, we saw live music there. Remember that is live, not live. Live music, and music that is live music is performed by musicians for an audience. That are there at the time, so we're not talking about music that you play on a CD or using Spotify、yeah. or YouTube. We're talking about someone in the room playing music for you right then. So, for example, we saw some great live music at that bar last weekend.、Mm. Taipei has a lot of great live music, that, doesn't that's it? That's true. Yeah. 文章中里面有说到了许多盛世都会有现场音乐以及舞蹈。Okay. Mm-hmm. So that is not the only way that they celebrate, course, obviously.、Yeah. No, the most important way that they celebrate, the article says. Well, the article says another way to celebrate is with a Holika bonfire. Okay, so I know what a bonfire is. We're going to look at that now.、Ah, what is Holika as well? Yeah, that's right. 文章中里面有说到了另外一种庆祝的方式呢，就是 Holika 火堆。那 bonfire 这个字呢，它就是火堆或者萤火晚会的那一个萤火就是 bonfire。那同学在我们学生时期呢，有时候都会参加萤火晚会的经验，在某一个夜晚呢，大家就会围绕着那个 bonfire 那个火堆唱唱歌啊，聊聊天啊，看看星星等等的。嗯哼 ，Yes, but that's another thing that we actually do in the UK as well in November. Remember, we create big bonfires on a night called Bonfire Night.、Oh. We have a special holiday where we build bonfires as well. However, these ones are a little bit different in India because each of these fires has a special statue of Holika in it. Okay, so it seems that Holika must be some kind of God or yeah, person. Something to do with yes, religion. Yes, to do with religion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 文章中里面有提到了。每一个火堆中都会有一尊 Holika 的雕像在里面。好、mm-hmm. ，statue 这个字呢，就是指雕像，像是在图书馆的外面，有时候会看到孔子的雕像， mm-hmm. 又或者是最著名的美国的自由女神雕像，它的英文就是 Statue of Liberty。Mm-hmm, right, very important statue. So why are they burning this statue? Well, Hindu people believe that Holika was bad and tried to kill her nephew, a prince. 嗯，文章中里面提到，印度人们相信 Holika 心地不好，而且当时试着想要杀害他那当王子的侄子。在这个句子里面，同学会发现，动词 believe 后面有一个 that， 那你要注意的是，嗯、这边的 that 并不是关系代名词，这边的 that 是表示带出后方名词子句的用法。那这边我们先进 Magic Box， 请讲师为我们讲解吧。米娜桑，空尼吉哇！大家好，我就是阿吉拉德斯。哎呀，前阵子呢，才跟志玲姐姐完成了盛大的婚礼啊、哦！真的是觉得哈，台湾呢是一个很有人情味的地方呢。大家都为我们祝福。Everyone is glad that she is married. Ah, 大家呢都很开心，志玲姐姐结婚了。我也很开心，请大家放心，我一定会好好照顾她的，请多多指教。好，大家呢应该都知道，英文里面啊句子的组成啊需要助词、动词、受词，什么意思嘞？例如啊，我喜欢吃冰淇淋 ，I like ice cream。我就是主词爱 ，like 喜欢呢，就是一个动作，一个动词。那被我喜欢的这个 ice cream 冰淇淋呢，就是受词了。它呢在动词后面承受了，所以呢就叫做受词啦。但是呢，假如呢我们的受词今天呢不是那么简单呢，是一整个句子，这时候我们应该怎么办嘞？这个时候啊，我们就要请出 that that， 在这个时候我可不是那个东西的意思了，它是呢作为连接词来使用。连接词什么时候用呢？就是连接前后两个句子啦。举个例子呢，像是我的好朋友，他要特地来台湾看我，但是啊，他很忙哦，所以他没有说什么时候要来。嗯嗯 ，I think that。
，He will come today。哎呀，我想呢，他今天应该就会来了。I think 我想事情呢，其实就已经是一个句子了。但是后面呢、啊，他今天会来 ，He will come today。哎，也是另外一个句子了。所以呢，在这里呢，我们就用连接词 that that 呢来把两个句子给连接起来了。又因为呢 ，that 连接后面的子句哦，是直接接在动词 think 后面来当做受词，所以这个用法呢，也就是 that 连接子句来当做受词的用法了。或许呢，我们可以看一下这一句哦。我们公司啊，最近来了一些新人。哎呀，我们训练新人都是很严格的，是要一直练习哦，唱歌跳舞。但是呢，他们很努力，一点也不觉得这些很辛苦。They found that the work is not so hard. 啊，他们发现呢，这些工作其实啊，没有这么困难哦，因为有爱哦。在这个句子里面呢，一样 that 后面接的子句哦，就当做 found 发现的受词。最后呢，要提醒大。家。加了，在这个用法的时候呢 ，that 是可以省略的哦。哪尼没有听错？比方说呢，我们刚刚的句子 ，I think that he will come today。如果呢，我们写说 I think。He will come today. 意思呢，其实是一模一样的，是，所以大家不要太害怕，有没有 that 都对喽。We also saw the word nephew there, which is a tricky one. It's a noun and it's spelled n e p h E W nephew, but what does this mean? Let's find out now. So your nephew is a member of your family. He is the son of your brother or sister. You might be too young to have any nephews now, but you might have them one day. If your brothers or sisters have a baby、uh, and that baby is a boy, then that will be your nephew. However, if they have a girl, then you won't have a nephew. You will have a niece. Now, niece is spelled N-I-E-C-E, niece. So now that we know about our nieces and our nephews, what about the children of our aunts and our uncles? Those are our cousins. And some good news here: unlike Chinese, where you have different words for older, younger, male, and female cousins, there is only one word for all of them in English. They are all your cousins. So you only have to learn one word. Now we have an example sentence for nephew. My brother bought his son brought his son to my house. I enjoy playing with my nephew. My brother brought his son to my house. I enjoy playing with my nephew. 是的，没有错。Nephew 这个字呢，就是侄子或者是外甥的意思喽，也就是指你未来长大之后你的兄弟姐妹的孩子们。另外呢，侄女或者是外甥女的英文就是 niece。讲到这边，我想同学们都知道，英文中对于这种亲属的称谓方式，其实不会像中文那么复杂。英文就是用 nephew 一个字表达。侄子、外甥的意思。那另外，像我们的表兄弟姐妹啊、堂兄弟姐妹啊，英文也是只用 cousin 一个字来表达全部的人。I always thought that was so so difficult when、yeah. I was learning Chinese. It's very difficult. I still can't name them all in Chinese. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> English is easy here. Yeah. 课、um, <laughs> 文例句里面就有说到了，我哥哥带他的小孩来我家玩，我很喜欢跟侄子玩。Mm -hmm. So we saw that she tried to kill him, but what happened next? Though she tried to burn him, she died in the fire, and he lived.、Mm -hmm. Right. So actually, what happened is Holika thought she had a magical a magical cape that would protect her from、yeah. the fire, but what she didn't know is the cape would only protect her if she was in a fire on her own.、Oh. So because she tried to bring someone else in the fire and kill them, she. Burned, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 嗯，文章中里面提到了，虽然他试着去烧他，但结果呢，他 Holika 自己却死于火海，而王子呢却活下来了。这个句子里面，同学要注意的是 ，though 这个字就是 although 的意思，字尾的 gh 是不发音的，表示虽然的意思。嗯哼 ，so a Holika bonfire shows that good wins over evil. Right, the good prince survived, and、oh. evil Holika died. 没有错，害人之心不可有啊！文章中里面说到， mm -hmm. 所以呢 ，Holika 火堆表示邪不胜正。嗯哼 ，So good triumphs over evil. That's a noun, and it's spelled E V I L. Evil. We use evil to mean all the bad things, feelings, and actions that cause harm or hurt people. The story shows that good wins over evil because the prince, who is a good person, 
defeats his evil aunt, who wants to kill him in the fire. We can also use the noun evil to talk about specific bad things. For example, the evil of lying, which is the bad ways in which you can tell lies or trick people to get things. Now, evil can also be an adjective too. An evil man or an evil woman is someone who wants to hurt other people or things about themselves, but not or get things for themselves by hurting other people. So, what is the opposite of evil then? Well, you'll be pleased by this one. It's very easy. Good. Just like in the article, we talk about good people being people who want to help others, who put other people's needs first. So here is our example sentence now of how to use evil. In this comic book, the strong man wins, e fights evil, and he wins. Let's hear that one again. In this comic book, the strong man fights evil, and he wins. 没有错 ，evil 这个字呢，可以当成名词跟形容词。当成名词呢，像文章里面说的，表示邪恶。当然 ，evil 当成名词也可以表示不好的事。例如，跟你分享一下，像同学们不太喜欢的考试，有的人就会说了，考试是一种 necessary evil， 必要之恶。而 evil 呢，当形容词是表示邪恶的或是坏心的。像童话故事里面的坏女巫，我们就可以说是 evil witch。课文例句里面提到，在这本漫画书里，这名强大的男人和邪恶对抗后获胜了。Mm -hmm. There's one other type of evil we could talk about, and that is a phrase, the lesser of two、yeah. evils. Have you heard that one before? Two evils. The lesser of two evils.、Oh. When you have to do choose between two things, and you think both、uh, of them are bad, but you have, have to pick one. We have a Chinese for that.、Mm -hmm. Do you want to learn that? I'll yeah. Tell me. 两害相权取其轻。That's, That's a long one. That's、yeah. a long one. Okay, but I'm guessing it means the same thing. Let's say you have to choose between two bad things,、mm -hmm. two evils. Right. Let's say there's an an exam you really hate and you really don't want to do, but skipping the exam will get you in, into trouble.、Mm, that's a、you、good one. You pick the exam because it is the lesser of two evils. It's、that's、the、right. better of two bad things. Now, getting back to the article, why not experience a new cultural event this spring with Holly in Taipei? That's how we're ending the article here. Why not? So they are suggesting,、uh, why don't you try? Why don't you try experiencing this、uh, festival? But that is something that Ignis is going to tell us about、yeah. now. <laughs> That's right. 文章里面就说到了。何不今年春天在台北透过 Holly 来体验一下全新的文化盛事呢？ Mm -hmm. 在这个句子一开始 ，Why not 是表示为何不？ Mm -hmm. 这个为何不呢？就是为何不做某件事呢？它有一种表示提议做某事的用意。Mm -hmm. 那 Why not 的后方一定要加上 base verb， 就是所谓的原形动词，同样用来表示做什么是好不好啊？表示提议的用法其实还有两个 ，What about and。How about? 只是同学要注意的是 ，about 是一个介系词， mm -hmm. 所以当你使用 what about 跟 how about 后面，不是加原形动词，是要加上 v i n g。嗯哼。And we also saw our last word power word of the day, experience, which is a verb and it's spelled e x p e r i e n c e. Experience. So when we experience something, we are there when it happens, or we see, hear, smell. Touch or taste it. The article is saying that you can join in Holly yourself and experience something new by taking part in a new type of event. We don't just experience events and traditions, though. Anything we do, see, or go through is an experience. We can experience heartbreak, that's Xin Sui, or we can experience success, Cheng Gong. Now we can also use the past tense of experience as an adjective to mean someone who knows a lot about something. So, for example, we could say that someone is a experienced salesman. He has done the job of being a salesman a lot, so he has a lot of experience about selling things. Now, here is an example sentence of how we can use experience as a verb. Let's go to the new restaurant so we can find so we can experience some different food. Let's go to the new restaurant so we can experience some different food. 
，没有错。Experience 这一个字呢，可以当成动词跟名词。当成动词的时候，表示体验啊，或是经历的意思。例如，我们可以说、mm-hmm. ，I experienced similar problems、mm-hmm.。我体验过，我经验过类似的问题。Mm-hmm. 另外呢 ，experience 也可以当成名词。例如，工作经验，我们可以说是 work experiences。嗯哼。课文例句里面提到了，我们一起去那间新的餐厅，体验一些不同的食物吧。嗯、另外，课文句子里面当中讲到的 cultural 是从名词 culture 文化字尾加上 a l 一样变成形容词的用法、嗯，表示文化的。例如，在台湾很多学校都会跟国外的学校，嗯、例如日本啊、韩国进行文化交流、嗯。文化交流我们就可以说成是 cultural exchange。嗯哼 ，right. So it's very similar to how we saw tradition can become traditional,、right. a culture can become cultural. Right, so we've reached the end of our article now. We've learned all about Holly, how it's celebrated, and where you can join in the fun. In fact, I think that there might be some Holly celebrations in Taipei this year as well. You should definitely check that out. Okay, we're on to our review time now. So let's practice some of the words we've learned today. <laughs> Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽。Okay, so we've got a new game today for our review time, and I think it's best that we play it with Evil. You guys can play it with Evil as well、uh, after this episode is over because it's the shortest word. And this game is called Minimum. Have you ever played Minimum before? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Minimum is a tricky game. Basically, you have to call out words that start with the same letter. As the name, as the keyword that you're using in the game. So our keyword is evil. So the letter we need to use is L. We need to think of words that begin with L.、Mm-hmm. However, here's the trick. Each time we've both said a word with L, we have to increase the minimum, the 最少 number of、uh, letters yes, in the word.、Yeah. So we can start with four-letter words, and then we have to try with five,、right. and then six, until we can't think. Of another word that starts with it. Okay. Okay. So, Ignis, do you want to start first? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, evil. Evil. The first one that come up is、um, like. Like. Okay. Like. Okay.、Um, I would say lane. Okay. So a lane in a road.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So next, we need to think of ones that begin with five letters. Also, the L in the start, right?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, the easy one, large. Large, okay. Or we could talk about lined, something like lined paper, for example, something、oh. with lines. Okay, a longer word. Now let's try and think of one with six letters or more. Six letters or more. Oh, I think <laughs> liberty. Liberty, okay.、Yeah. Liberty is a good one. I'm going to say. Leprechaun, Lep- leprechaun,、oh. the tiny green Irish people who、oh, dance around.、Fairy. Okay,、uh, little fairies. Yeah. Okay, seven letters. Seven letters. Yeah, they're getting long. I can come longer. Okay, you can go longer. Legitimate. <laughs> legitimate. Okay, tricky, tricky word tricky there.、Money. Legitimate. When something is legitimate, it means it has a lot of reasoning behind、That's、it, right? right? So, hand your dowry. Okay, and I'm going to say, oof. I can think of liar, but that's too short. I can think of.、Um, we've already said like. Like、uh, yeah. Um, I think I've run out of ideas, of <laughs> words that I can say. I guess that that means that you win today's、oh, well, word game. Oh, lovely! But yeah, you said that one, so I didn't say lovely. Yeah, no, but you just said it now. Oh, oh, okay. So, <laughs> so Ignis wins today's game. Okay, so you guys can play this game too. You can you play it on the board, okay, and have a little bit more time to think about what words you're going to do. But it's a tricky game. Have a go at it now, and we will join you next time for more interesting A plus articles. For A plus, I'm Seb. I'm Ignis, and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Holy, the brightest way to celebrate spring. Today, people across Asia, North America, and Europe enjoy this bright tradition. They celebrate it in a number of ways. Many events have live music and dancing. Another way to celebrate is with a holika bonfire. Each of these fires has a special statue of Holika in it. 
Hindu people believe that Holika was bad and tried to kill her nephew, a prince. Though she tried to burn him, she died in the fire and he lived. So a Holika bonfire shows that good wins over evil. Why not experience a new cultural event this spring with Holi in Taipei? Word power. Tradition. Tradition. It is a tradition to wear red clothes on Chinese New Year. It is a tradition to wear red clothes on Chinese New Year. Nephew, nephew. My brother brought his son to my house. I enjoy playing with my nephew. My brother brought his son to my house. I enjoy playing with my nephew. Evil, evil. In this comic book. The strong man fights evil, and he wins. In this comic book, the strong man fights evil, and he wins. Experience, experience. Let's go to the new restaurant so we can experience some different food. Let's go to the new restaurant so we can experience some different food. Bonfire, statue, cultural.